Hey everybody, this is Abhay. In this video, we are going to discuss a problem called K diff pairs in an array. This is basically a lead code problem, problem number 532, K diff pairs in an array. So uh, now let's see what the question is. In this question, we will be given an array. Here is our array and a number K, which is two in our case. And we have to return all possible pairs where the absolute difference between them is equal to k. So from this array, we have 1, 3 is one of the pair where the absolute difference is 2. Then we have also one thing that 1, 3 and 3, 1 is considered same. So uh, reversing just the order will won't make any sense. So 1, 3 or 3, 1 is same. Then we have 3, 5. 3, 5 is the other possible pair which has the absolute difference of 2, right? So in this case, we will return 2 as our answer. So let's take another example. Another example is uh, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Then uh, uh, k in this case is 1. So in this case, we have four possible pairs. The one is one comma two. Then we have two, three, two, three, absolute difference one. Here also absolute difference one. Then three, four, again, same difference one. Then four, five, here as you can see. Now, in this case, we will return four as our answer. So this was our question. Now let's see how we are going to develop an algorithm for this problem. Okay. Now we are going to use hash map for our solution. So here is our hash map, which has a, which will store the count. So the key will be the uh, element of array and value is going to be the count of that particular you know number so this is our hash map here is key and here is value which is count so one one has the count of two as you can see one here and here then we have three three is unique so three has a count of one then uh, one one is done already four 4 has count of 1 again 5 has count of 1 so here we have our hash map which stores the count now let's uh, keep this hash map apart now here in our array we got 1 3 1 4 and 5 so what if we add k to all our elements in array okay let's do it now pointer is here at this point. Now if we add 2 to this, we got 3. Now if 3 exists in our array already, so yes, 3 is, is already exist in our array. So this 1 and 3 is one of the possible pairs because if we add 2 to 1, we got 3. Or in reverse, we can say we if we subtract 1, from 3 we got 2 that is k so reverse is also true so in this case if we have a counter which is initially set to 0 then counter will be incremented and now counter will be 1 right now pointer is shifted to here now let's add 2 to this 3 we got 5 here now is 5 exist in our array already yes as you can see 5 exist so 5 is here so again counter will be incremented and this time count is 2. So let's see the reverse of this. We add 2 to 3, we got 5. In the other words, we can say if we subtract 3 from 5, we got 2. And 3, 5 exist in our array already. So 3, 5 is one of the possible pairs. Right? So uh, I hope you are getting what I am actually saying. Now we don't consider one now pointer is shifted now we don't consider one because we have considered one already here as we have discussed so we will shift to four now add two to four we got six is six exist on array 
no it doesn't so we'll simply ignore now 5 now we are at 5 we add 2 to 5 we got 7 now is 7 exit an array no it doesn't so we'll not we don't do anything so in this case our count is 2 and that is our final answer right now if this was our algorithm then why i have created this hash map hash map is also have have its application now let's see first okay instead of using this array we can use the key set we have key set of 1 3 4 and 5 so the key set is always going to be the unique because we are uh, storing the count so key set will always be unique so here we don't have two times one so let's see the same thing in this one let's add two which is k we got three three existing array so yes counter will be incremented now pointer is here add two we got five five is here again uh, counter will be incremented counter is two here is our pointer we add two we got six six doesn't exist in our this set again five five two is added to five we got seven seven also doesn't exist in our set so the pointer is two and so our counter is at two so you you will be wondering that we can uh, i can also use a set if we want a unique number only unique number why why we used a hash map so we used hash map because we also have to use these values now why do we need to use values so this is our algorithm that we have discussed this algorithm will fail if k is zero let's see we have one three one four and five now k is zero let's apply this algorithm okay before applying the algorithm let's um, see how many possible pairs are there we have only one possible pairs one comma one here so the answer will be one in this case where k is two right now let's follow our this algorithm and see if we get our desired answer or not let's add zero okay first create a unique set that is one three four and five let's add zero to one zero is added we got one is one exist in our hash up yes one exist so counter is one now here three zero is added to three we got three itself now three exist in our set yes three exist so now in this case counter will be incremented now this is the wrong answer that is it shouldn't say that c is counter is 2 so our algorithm will fail when k is 0 so in that case we need value we just see that if any key value have value is 2 or greater than 2 that is if any number exists more than 2 or 2 itself so in that case we will simply return the count that is how many numbers have value 2 or more than 2 here in this case only 1 has the value of 2 so 1 will be simply printed or 1 will be simply you know returned so that's why we have a hash map right now let's see the code implementation for this one okay so here is our question now let's create a hash map first hash map of integer an integer called map is new hash map right so we have created a hash map now uh, initialize count counter initially set to zero okay um, now uh, let's store the count in the hash map so for int i n nums which is our array okay map dot put we are going to use an inbuilt function in the hash map that is i it will simply store as the count map uh, dot get or default i comma zero plus one this is a function of hash map which will help us to set the count right 
now we are done with count now what we do we traverse in the key set so while okay not use value simply use for loop for int a in map dot key set traverse in the key set now here we have to specify two condition if k is equal to zero or not now if k is not equal to zero we will follow some other condition else we will follow some other condition as we have discussed in the algorithm now if k is not zero then simply introduce a variable int b which will store the current element plus a k as we have discussed here current element plus a that is this is a here a is 1 and k is 2 k is 2 and if their addition of k sorry a and k exist in our hash map or not if exist then counter will be incremented if b is a now, now int b is equal to a plus k now if map dot contains key b if is if it is then counter will be incremented right else else k is equal to zero this is the condition in that case simply if map dot get a get the value if it is greater than or equal to zero simply return is simply increment the count count will increment it and will simply return the count okay so that's it now let's run this okay as you can see solution is accepted now submit this okay we got wrong answer let's we have a hash map we have a counter then we have uh, all the elements in the hash map then uh, okay here is our problem it will be greater than or equal to 2 right sorry my bad okay accepted now submit okay as you can see our uh, solution is submitted so that's it this was our problem uh, if you enjoyed the video hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more coding type problems see you in the next video